fun day. Headed to Baltimore for the Baltimore show. It's a it's a great bottle show. Probably the best in the country. Um, certainly the best one day show. Lots of lots of action. Setup begins this afternoon. We can unload boxes from like three thirty to five. We can't put anything out for sale until five o'clock. It's like uh, it's like noon now. I'm leaving. I'm checking out an auction on the way. Of course, can't can't go anywhere without combining it with something else. So I'm checking out an auction. One, two, three. at the Baltimore to pick up my friend. He's going to help me at setup. Hopefully, he'll be good at holding the camera or I'll hold the camera and I'll make him do all the work. He'll hold the camera. She was the best in the county for those who could be tracked. If you had ten fingers when you shook it, you'd only get nine back. I do believe that there's a lot for every key. I worked out all the combinations, and baby, you're the one for me. Spicy ramen. I love to hit some different restaurants while traveling. That 5 a.m. alarm is early, especially after the time change. Route 40 is fascinating. It starts out nice in parts of the city, and then it gets kind of rough. And then you hit industrial, and you hit seedy hotels and strip clubs, and you hit warehouses, and then you hit the suburbs. It's all of America in one road. I brought some green painted stuff and early country stuff for a friend to look at. Gotta help publicize the next show. It's next weekend, New Oxford. All right, here we go. Huge crowd, it came pouring in quickly. I think over a thousand people paid. Plus all the dealers set up. In my life with you, if the things you do get kind of strange, I'm gonna spend my life with you. Cause I like you best when you're that way. I'm gonna spend my life with you. And I don't care what you do. I'm gonna spend my life with you.
Well, I don't care if you're singing too, I'm gonna spend my life with you. If you drink your pay and you drink mine too, I'm gonna spend my life with you. Cause you make me laugh even when we lose, I'm gonna spend my life They had a scavenger hunt for the kids. That was kind of cool. What you do, I'm gonna spend my life with you. No, I don't care what you do, I'm gonna spend my life One more hour to go. Your head will never be too heavy for my shoulder. Don't always know what is right for me, but you're the one thing I'm sure of. And I know, yes, I know. Poe is trash, your rich is kings. I'm gonna spend my life with you. Cause you'll always be my bestest friend. I'm gonna spend my life with you. I don't care what you do. I'm gonna spend my life with you. No, I don't care what you do. I'm gonna spend my life with you. See, I don't care what you do. I'm gonna spend my life with you. It's like 425 or so, finally all packed up. Um, not a bad pack out. I got here early enough to get a good parking spot. Overall, a disappointing show. My goal was like two to 3,000 in sales pretty easily with at least 500 in profit. Um, I had those deliveries to make, but the actual show sales were 595, which is by far the worst Baltimore bottle show I've ever had. A 235 of the green painted things in the car um, and then through my Facebook post I've so far sold two items for 135 even that all together is 865 and I didn't really want to count the green painted items in the two to three thousand sale so not good um, profit will be like 50 maybe a hundred bucks after all my expenses so not the uh, not the show I wanted. Um, very disappointed. I've had had an okay show in Nashville, and I've had you know I've had some good weeks recently selling some stuff online on Facebook and on eBay and that way. And I've um, you know been hired to do a couple jobs for people, hauling stuff around and moving and everything. Had a good scrap buy a couple of weeks ago, so I really thought things were turning around. I thought you know if I could do the four or five hundred in profit at this show. Plus the few things I already sold online this week. That's how it goes. Tomorrow's another day. Hopefully I'll list uh, five or ten things on eBay and Facebook and wherever online and sell them. Update my website. Got a show next week in New Oxford. So back to the daily grind. <sighs> Finally home. Uh, a little over two hours. I did stop to get something to eat. Uh, some road fries. And road chicken nuggets and road sweet tea. So that'll probably be dinner. The diet will start tomorrow. Um, not going to unload tonight. Too tired. But I will unload tomorrow and I'll film and show what I bought. And talk a little bit about how the sales went. Bought mostly pottery this year. I'm happy with all the buys. The only piece of glass was the Dutch onion. I bought uh, two southern pieces. The early Bella Marie jug. And the four stone or the three stoneware bottles from Illinois. We'll see. Hopefully, I'll make money on all the stuff. I also picked up a load of shipping boxes for my friend. Hey, getting ready to go unload. Thought I'd spare you the footage of that, but I wanted to discuss what I actually sold at the bottle show, which was fascinating. I sold two signs during setup and a glass cane, which is a blown glass cane, probably like 1890s or so. So that's glass related. That was it during setup. My first sale of the morning was a silver certificate, a dollar bill, and then later two silver dollars. Next, a insurance sign and then a razor blade display. A cigar poster. I sold the patch off of a firefighter's helmet. 
a, a, a plastic 7-Up sign, two Red Cross posters, sold the two green painted items out in the truck. I actually just gave my friend the keys and sent him out. Sold a Red red Rare Croc, a little small ovoid uh, jug actually, handleless jug, that was cute. And then a, uh, a pair of big horns from, I don't know, some sort of animal, and then some deer antlers. The majority of the stuff actually didn't even make it onto onto the table. They were all things underneath the table. So I don't know. Next year, should I bring more under the table stuff? Have it all under the table? But uh, it's weird. One year I'll sell a ton of glass. And next year, like this year, I won't sell any. So that's why I take a variety there. But um, I thought I had some glass that was neat and would sell this year, but it didn't. But oh well. Oh well. On to the next show. It's a week away. I'm looking forward to it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe and uh, follow me along on my antiques journey. Thanks.